I know Fabritine. <risos> eu também tenho essa blusa. Tenho a mesma coisa. É para um Rio de Janeiro. Ah, carioca. I'm Rudy. Isabela. Isabela, prazer. Prazer. Mom? What? For as long as I can remember, every day, regular sounds, I turn into rhythm. She's different, she's beautiful, she's smart, she's funny. Oh, tell me more. But honestly, I don't think you actually know what you want. I'm figuring it out. Well, I know what I want. Tell me, tell me what it is. We met because of the movie. I got involved um, a few months before filming. I met Rudy over Zoom. The meeting went great, obviously. <laughs> and I signed on as a producer. And we would just kind of meet every week to talk about the script and adjust dialogue and um, kind of got to know each other through that creative process. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is very true. Um, the Brazilian girl is the most beautiful. Uh, yeah. There may be like two moments that take a, a fi fictitious license. One of them is the getting shot moment and Rudy's, where Rudy's hospitalized. That is a story I stole from a close friend who did get shot. It's on that street, in that neighborhood, in Newark. Uh, I went to college with him and um, I stole that story from him because I wanted, I wanted Rudy and Isabella to have their their deep, romantic, fall in love moment and also a very unromantic place, which is a, uh, an emergency room. <laughs> um, so that didn't happen. And I'm trying to think. Mostly everything else actually happened. I, I've never dated two women simultaneously. Um, but to me, Cammy's character Isabella and Haley represent kind of two different versions of Rudy's life and two different directions that he's being pulled in more so than actual people. But everything else you see really happened. We actually speak both with each other. We, we do a little bit of mi mixing because she likes to practice her English and I like to practice my Portuguese. So sometimes it's me trying to speak Portuguese to her and her speaking English back to me. Um, But yeah, it's a little bit of both. And I think, to answer your question about the film, um, both of us grew up speaking a mix of languages. So that part's very natural to us. So I think in the movie, although some things were scripted, most of it was just like, some lines really need to be in Portuguese and make more sense in Portuguese, especially when you're talking to your mom mm -hmm. or when I'm introducing myself to his mom in the movie. And then some make more sense in English. So I think it was always just kind of a natural response to the situation. Yeah, yeah so, so it, I, that was my addition to the movie. That was a little improv. <laughs> when I taught that to my castmates, that's when I thought it meant go pick up little yeah, poops. Yeah, um, <laughs> I thought that's what it meant when I taught them that. So it's just funny now looking back on that and being corrected years later. <laughs> she didn't tell me that she was going to say that. Uh, <laughs> my co-writer came up and, and he was just pitching on different little anecdotes that she could share something to show some familiarity and... Um, to kind of break the ice. To, to break the yeah. ice with Rudy. And so I did, my laugh, my reaction is genuine in the, in the scene. <laughs> You don't gotta Telling tell me us. that. <laughs> <laughs> We would love to be there. I'd love to go there soon. We're gonna find a reason to be there yeah. as soon as possible. Yes, please. I'm waiting for you guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so ciao. much.